Hi everybody, it's Steve Nicheton here again with another 30 Days of Change. We're now on day 27. Um, so today's topic is how to truly believe in yourself. And um, we've spoke about beliefs in the past and we're going to speak about that today again. A lot of people have been writing messages to me um, asking about how to kind of build up their self-esteem, how to believe in themselves and how to kind of generally just make themselves feel better about themselves first of all. One thing I have to say, when you send me a message about anything private, if you've got any personal problems, honestly I can't answer them. I'm, I'm not insured for it first of all, I'm not qualified for it, I'm not a qualified counsellor, um, so I can't, I'm not a qualified psychotherapist or anything else, so I can't give you personal advice. These videos are totally different, this is just general advice and you can take on that advice if you want, if you want to leave it, if you think it's rubbish, you can leave it. If you think it's brilliant, you can take on the advice and use it in your life. But I can't answer personal questions and I do apologise. And I know I've written, to, I've written to loads of people saying I can't do that, but I'm still getting lots of messages. So I do apologise for that, but I just can't do it. Okay, beliefs. Where do beliefs come from in the first place? You've got to ask yourself that question. Where do your beliefs about yourself come from? And if you ask that question, that's when you start to change. That's when you start to question your beliefs about yourself and that's when you start to kind of change them. Now, we spoke in a previous video. And if you want, you can go to the previous videos by clicking on videos at the top here. Uh, click on videos and you get all the past videos and you'll see a section called 30 Days of Change. But in a previous video, we spoke about where beliefs really come from. And we were speaking more in a generic term where your beliefs come from. So really, um, I mentioned before that your beliefs are really formed by the age of seven years old. Now that's incredible to think that most of the beliefs you have right now have been formed by the age of seven years old. That's the beliefs about yourself, about the, the beliefs about the, the world round about you, and the beliefs about kind of people as well and how you interact and your social interactions and stuff like that. So by the time you're seven years old, most of your beliefs have been formed. Now obviously as you get older, your beliefs are going to change because you learn kind of new things. But most of your inner beliefs have been formed by the age of seven years old. And when your beliefs really come from kind of obviously the people round about you, it's from your environment round about you. So the people in your environment, it's your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your teachers, the media, um, the internet, which would be called the media now anyway, that is part of the media, uh, just all over the TV part of the media as well. So your beliefs are formed from all of these sources and they're formed by the age of seven as I said. And if you think about as you're grown up, you could change so many beliefs about yourself but really most of us don't even realise what beliefs we have and that's one thing we've got to uncover and that's one thing I want to speak about today. How the hell do you uncover the beliefs that you have just now? So if I was to ask you just now, in fact I'll ask you, what beliefs do you have about yourself just now? So tell me a few beliefs that you have about yourself just now and I'll look in the comments and see what beliefs you have. Because we've literally got thousands of beliefs about ourselves and yet we only know a few. But it'd be good to ask you, if you leave in the comments, what beliefs you have about yourself just now? And we'll see what kind of comments come through. I'm just going to refresh this. so there's a few people coming in I'm powerful and strong says Teresa Grace for that's good um, Donna is saying not good enough that's not a good thing but we're going to show you how to change that Donna I'm strong and a survivor says Teresa Craft Lake brilliant I believe I'm strong and loving brilliant not worthy Wendy Galvin a lot of people are saying kind of not worthy strong family values Linda confidence Hayley Payne and that's something we all want here as well, we all want more confidence. Not to be overly confident, but just to be quietly confident within ourselves. That should stand up to oppression, Sandra Perez. And that's kind of a wider scale um, kind of belief as well. But that's an inner belief that you've got to have first before you can do anything about it. I care about others, Carita. Um, great. I'm a strong and positive thinker, uh, Rithinej. So a lot of people know some of the beliefs, they know the kind of main beliefs they have about themselves, but they don't know the kind of thousands of beliefs 
that they have about themselves that kind of either hold them back or drive them forward. And you've got to think about your beliefs in that way. They either hold you back or they push you forward to get outside your comfort zone. And remember we spoke about the other day about uh, getting outside your comfort zone. That is the only place you can grow as a person. As a human being, the only place you can grow is outside your comfort zone. And the only way you can step outside your comfort zone is to start believing in yourself. Most people go through life and they're all stuck in this little comfort zone. And it's sometimes it's brilliant and that's that some people are really happy in their comfort zone and that's not an issue. That's not a problem at all. If you're happy, stay happy. I'm happy for you. That's fantastic. But most people think there's something more I'm meant to be doing. I should be doing something else or I want to do something else. I just don't know how to. I just don't believe in myself enough. And that's what you've got to do when you step outside the comfort zone boundaries that you've got just now. You've got to have a little belief in yourself. So the way you find your beliefs. So say for example I asked you the question, okay I want you to, um, what for example could I give a, a belief about yourself? Okay I want you to um, start a business this time next year. So when you ask yourself, say that that is your, one of your goals, so you just say, okay, I want to start a business, and then if you write that down on a piece of paper, I'm going to start a business this time next year. So you say, by May 2017, I'm going to have started a business in such and such, in candle making, for example. And then underneath it, you write down all the beliefs that you would need to have to start that candle making business. So what would it be, and that's where you uncover your limiting beliefs as well. So write down all the beliefs you would have on one goal, write down on a piece of paper. You don't need to do it right now, but write it down on a piece of paper after that and watch this video again. And just ask yourself, what one goal do you have right now? And underneath it, write out all the beliefs you need to have about yourself. So if you want to start a business in candle making, you'd need to have the belief that you're good with figures, for example. You'd need to have the, the belief that you've got the ability to make candles or you've got the ability to run a group of people or to manage a group of people or to lead a group of people. You'd need to believe that you have the social skills to do business deals. You'd need to believe that you have the social skills to get up and, and public speak, for example, if you were to go out and speak about your business, for example. So there's loads of beliefs about that one thing, about that one goal about building up a business. There's hundreds of beliefs underneath it. And when you uncover your beliefs, that's when you can start to change them. So first you've got to uncover your beliefs. So give us, um, so for example, a common belief about yourself or a common goal you might have about yourself, for example, I want more confidence. So obviously you tell yourself, I am confident. And that's the very base level, I am confident. That in itself is not going to do much, but if you tell yourself that every single day, that helps. It's still not going to change your beliefs about yourself, but it's a start. So say, for example, you want to have the belief that you're confident. First of all, you tell yourself that every single day. Then what you do is you look for evidence to prove that you're confident. So, for example, it could be something simple. It could be something uh, like driving to work. So, like, a lot of people have don't like to drive. So the fact that they've driven to work is evidence that you are confident. You've had the confidence to get in the car and drive to work. Now that might be too kind of simple way of explaining it, but if you, if you say, okay, I stood up at a meeting today at work and I spoke about the report I was doing, you spoke for 10 minutes, that requires confidence. That's another piece of evidence to prove that you are confident. So the base level, start off telling yourself every day that I am confident. And when you do that, you start to look for evidence. And I mean tiny pieces of evidence. So for example, again, um, if you said you want to be confident, you started working on a computer and you, you, you changed a program um, that you didn't know how to do before, or you started working on a program that you didn't know how to do before, that proves that you're confident. And it's a tiny piece of evidence, but it all goes to this one belief to prove that you're confident. So 
If you think about your beliefs as rock solid just now, so this fist is rock solid, this is a rock solid belief, okay? And then when you say that's a limiting belief and it's holding you back, so this belief here, that's telling you you're not confident. This belief is telling you you're not good enough to do something. That's what this belief represents. But when you start to question this belief, this belief eventually kind of turns molten. So when you start to question it and you start to install a new belief in yourself by first of all telling yourself, I am confident, this belief kind of goes, it starts to kind of melt a little and starts to turn molten. And then when you start to find the evidence to prove that you're confident, this belief is suddenly molten, it turns into liquid, and then this belief comes over, this brand new belief, and that turns into a rock solid belief. And that's how you change your beliefs. But first you've got to uncover your beliefs. And that might be the hard part for most people. So what I'd like you to do after this video finishes and just play this video again, is write down all the goals, say top three goals, to make it easier for you. What are your top three goals? In fact, we'll ask you just now, what are your top three goals for yourself, not for the world, not for your family, for yourself just now? What are your top three goals? So if you can answer me that just now here, I'll just refresh this again, we'll look at some of the comments. So what I'm looking for is your top three goals, or even give me one goal that you'd love to have. And we'll look at the comments coming in. And I bet there's some doozies in here, I bet there's some great goals that come in here. Uh, Shannon Burgess says, a publishing company wants me to write about me and my family's biography. I've been questioning my life, has been quite unreal, will help others, this gives me the push to do so. Brilliant Shannon, that's brilliant. Self-empowering makes a difference. Write a book, Wendy Galvin, you want to write a book. Okay, you've got a goal of writing a book, Wendy. What beliefs would you need to have about yourself to write that book? And that's the way you're going to uncover your limiting beliefs. And that's the way you're going to uncover your positive reinforcing beliefs. So you've got two different sets of beliefs. Uh, music is one of my main goals to reach. Mark Royal Prince, teach it excellent. Being true to yourself, is that a goal? Is that a bit airy fairy? Give me a specific goal. I'm not saying it is airy fairy, but I'm just saying give me a specific goal that you want to set for yourself. Um, Jules Collins, for example, new business, lose weight, make more money. Specifics, very well, no, extremely specific, how much more money you want to make. So make it as specific as possible. Self-knowledge, financial independence, start my service with God, Randy, Randy Rules, again, make it more specific, as specific as possible. So by this time next year, I'm going to make, I'm going to have made um, £100,000, $100,000. And then you say, okay, what do I need to believe in to make $100,000? and then you start working on each of those beliefs in turn. Um, work on my blog and writing, Heather Lee Lawrence. What beliefs would you need, Heather? So ask yourself, what beliefs would you need to have about yourself to keep on writing your blog? Or um, Yanni, poem writer. I just, Yanni, I know you kind of share my videos every single day and I really appreciate that and that's the first time I've caught you live. So thank you very much, I really appreciate that. And i just seen you kind of face going whizzing past there, but I want to mention you. Um, audio is breaking up, and um, some people are saying, okay, we'll keep going just now, and hopefully it's going to be okay. So, that is how you uncover your beliefs, first of all, and then to change a belief, you, you tell yourself that new belief that you want to believe about yourself, I am confident, I am, I am full of self-esteem, I love myself, I, just things like that, if you start the base level by telling yourself every single day, then start looking for evidence and pretty soon the kind of old belief, old limiting belief you have will turn molten and it'll turn into a brand new belief about yourself, more self-empowering and more confidence in you and it'll give you more energy as well. So what happens just now, if you've got this rock solid belief that's holding you back just now and you try to tell yourself or you try to tell your mind, I am confident when this belief is rock solid and it says, no, you're not confident, then you cannot hold two opposing beliefs in your mind at the same time. So that is something called cognitive dissonance. So you cannot hold two opposing beliefs in your mind at the same time. And that's why it's so difficult to change your beliefs about yourself as you grow older. But if you know 
how to change your beliefs about yourself. How different would your world be this time next year if you can do that? Even changing one belief about yourself, that belief that you're confident, changing that one belief is a life changer for most people. But imagine all the different beliefs, especially money beliefs. Money beliefs are a killer, and that's because we've been told when we're younger, and we lived in a different day and age back then, 30, 40, 50 years ago, and it's been passed down from generation to generation. Money doesn't grow on trees, you've kind of heard all this before, we can't afford that, or that's too expensive, and you've grown up with that in your subconscious mind. And if you've grown up with that in your subconscious mind, that's going to stick throughout adulthood, and it's going to hold you back from earning more money, or believing that you can earn more money, or believing that you're worth more money in your job if you want to ask for a raise from your boss or whatever, you might not believe that you're worth any more. And that's because of the subconscious beliefs. But then if you start to look at your goals and just say, okay, I want to earn $60,000 per year instead of the $40,000 I'm on just now at work. You, you set that as a goal and look at all the beliefs you need to have and then start installing each empowering belief and melting these limiting beliefs. And that's how you change your life. That's how you start to truly believe in yourself. That sounds really simple. And most life-changing things are simple. But nobody's really ever told us this. I didn't realize this for years. I didn't realize this. And this is my passion, talking about beliefs. I, I just love telling people about beliefs, how they're formed and how we can change them and how it's relatively simple. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's relatively simple to change your beliefs if you know exactly what to do. And I've given you kind of the steps there. And obviously there's reinforcers that you can use. And that's why I brought out the products at guidedmind.com. That's why I brought out Positive Life Affirmations at positivelifeaffirmations.net. And I've put the, the details down below for that as well, because that speeds up the process. Now I'm not saying you have to use those. I'm not trying to, well I am plugging my products obviously, but I'm not trying to get you to buy them. You don't need them to change your beliefs, but it just reinforces it and it kind of speeds up the kind of process. Positive affirmations are brilliant for doing this. They're fantastic ways to start changing your beliefs. And really, really fantastic. And they've got, a lot of people say they, they don't work because they've not used them in the right way. They've, they've just not used them totally at all. And they don't, some people don't know how to use them. But positive affirmations, guided, guided meditations as well, um, they can really help you change your beliefs about yourself. So I hope that helps just now. I think we've been on for about 20 minutes just now. Um, I'm just going to check a few comments. See if, it, if this has given you a kind of an aha moment and you're thinking, ah, I, d I didn't know that, but this could change. Just give me a wee shout out and just say, yes, this could really help me. And we'll see if there's any comments coming up just now. So some people are still writing their top goals in. Uh, Randy Stillman Rules, I feel so blessed being live for Steam. Thank you very much, Randy. Love how calming your voice is, Carrie. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, love my self respect. So, you're still writing in your goals just now? So, if this has given you an aha moment and you go, oh, and it's suddenly opened up your mind, just put in a, um, a little. Oh, a, some people are saying the audio is bad, but just put in um, a little comment just to say this has kind of really helped you. Yes, this has really helped me. That's Alison Garvey. Brilliant. That's good, um, Alison. Thanks for that. Um, Shra said, awesome, Stephen. Thank you. Kalinka. Great stuff. Thanks. Brilliant. Thank you for your beautiful and inspiring words. Zafalta, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there just now. And until tomorrow, which will be day 28, we're nearly finished, the 30 days of change. Can you believe it? Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with the daily show. It just might be called something else. So give me your ideas if you've got any ideas about what the shows could be about. So just continue every day doing what I'm doing. And I'm trying to think what we're doing. I've got a 21st. Tomorrow is my son's 21st, can you believe? Well, obviously you don't know me, but my son is 21st and I can't believe that he's actually 21. So we're going away um, tomorrow. 
we're going to go away for the kind of weekend and that's going to be really really good I can't wait for that and next week I'm in London for next week for the Your Digital Formula event that's the, the business program that I've got we're having an event down in London which is going to be amazing and I can't wait for that so let me know what you're getting up to and until then until tomorrow I will speak to you at 2pm British Summer Time but I'll do the kind of Facebook thing again but I'll just put, play a video um, with some music just to tell you I'm going to be on in 10 minutes I thought that was quite a good idea to do that just to let you know I'm going to be on so nobody misses it so until tomorrow take care